One of the primary objectives of bushfire management on public land is to protect community and essential infrastructure. For the East Central Risk Landscape, that includes um, the major water and power infrastructure that supplies Melbourne. The first step in identifying those was to look at the CFA's Victorian Fire Risk Register. And then the next step was to talk to the different agencies and groups that manage those assets um, and work out where we might be able to work together to better protect them from bushfire. The Bushfire Risk Landscape Management Plan has been developed using some known uh, sciences, predominantly through Phoenix Rapid Fire, fire Modelling, Bushfire Modelling. Uh, and what that allows us to do is actually uh, form opinions about the risk, where it is and how fire travels through the landscape and know with a certain level of certainty how various fires, various ignition risks might impact on a particular area. For us and particularly from a CFA vegetation management program perspective, it's all about um, raising awareness of the individuals that manage those risks and own those risks and try to bring them together in a format and in a forum where they can uh, uh, better implement good treatments to try and mitigate against bushfire risk. Undertaking this modelling will allow us to understand what the potential impact of a fire is on, on, any, in, on a particular catchment and what that may or may not do to the yield into a particular reservoir. The entire network um, needs to be considered as a whole, going back from the hard engineered assets right back into the, the forest where that water comes from. It's a, it's a visualisation of how fire moves the landscape and it shows that fires don't just stop at a boundary and it shows that we really need to work together and, and recognise that, yeah, this, this whole patch of land is the risk and it's everybody's responsibility to come together and, and manage the fuel in that landscape. I think we're able to have a lot more um, in-depth discussions with people and help people really understand what the impacts of bushfire might be and to understand those impacts across the spectrum. So impacts to people, impacts to property, to the environment and to infrastructure and to, to practical services. Music